This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Sr., Steve G. Santiago and Family, Stu and Nancy Santiago and Family, Stephen and Joy Santiago and Family, Sally Mae Santiago Slim and Benedicto Lim Jr. and Family, Sunny Boy and Luella Santiago and Family, Fancy Mae D. Imbong, Mercy Evangelista and Family, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrile, Pure Lina Water Supply Corporation, Phoenix Petroleum Fuels Philippines Incorporated by Dennis A. Uy, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Chardin, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Quailans Food House, Selvina de Toy and Family, Doctora Amelia Deason and Family, Gas and Sophie Sulwaga, Mrs. Ampi Icasas and Family, and Fe Takando. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. We pray for the following intentions, the sponsoring group, Phil Mission Auxiliary Association, for our collaborators, Leander's Specialties, House of Lord Anthony, Natis Lechon, Cecil's Snack Inn, Paternos, Elvi Gutierrez, Henry Evangelista, The Asia, University of Mindanao, Ramline Resources Incorporated, Davao Diamond Industrial Supply, Davao Great Wall Trading, Royal Bands Corporation, Adolfo and Malu Ato. For the special intentions of the success of Oasis of Love WSS Batch 25, Vocations to Mission Society of the Philippines. Thanksgiving. Ally sa Phil Mission Foundation Incorporated, Manuel and Caroline Esquadro, Jocelyn Chu, Jefferson and Lorena, Lorena Chu and family, Jorby Chu, Renante Henoba. For the good health of MSP missionaries abroad, Manuel and Caroline, Caroline Esquadro, Catalina Bacolod, Trinidad Molina, Nelio and Emeline de la Peña, Amor and Cecilia Batingana, and, and family. For the recovery and healing of all retired MSP priests. For the souls of the following, Reynaldo, Nino Sr., George Redentor, Militia Sr. and Jr., Vianasse, Maricres, Aracne, FMA members, MSP priests, German, Pedro Sr., Chu Kai Yi, Nilda, Pedro Jr., Marcos, Domenica, Hospi Sr., Jose, Noel, Damaso, and Flora, Violeta, Leticia, Quentina, Eliseo Sr., Nicomedes, Angela, Felipe, Francesca, Milagros, Raimunda, Lucas, Trinerio Sr., Epifania Jr., and Conrada, and all the victims of war, natural, and man-made calamities, and all the holy souls in purgatory, all the deceased benefactors, sponsors, and cooperators of the Pauline's Communication Ministry of Davao. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Phil Mission Sunday, a day devoted to remember our brothers and sisters who work in the foreign missions. In response to God's call, they have left our land and their families to proclaim the gospel in the nations where Christianity is still a tiny minority or where the local church still needs the help of new evangelizers. It is our duty to remember with admiration 
sincere love, and practical solidarity all our missionaries, priests, nuns, religious brothers, and lay volunteers. They are expected to be the best showcase of what the church is all about. Let us pray for them and be generous toward them. For much of the good they can do depends on the generosity with which we reach out to them. Today, we also celebrate Fourth World Day of Grandparents and Elderly. Let us show our tender love for our grandparents and the elderly members of our families. Pope Francis and his message is encouraging each one of us to spend time with them and show our love and affection for them. Let us now with one voice offer our prayers of praises to God as we partake in God's banquet of love. Our Mass presider is Father Jesse Nabaha Hilaga, M.S.P. and sisters, we are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, good morning. Good morning. Today, as we celebrate this holy sacrifice of the Mass in, this, uh, in the 17th Sunday of the uh, ordinary time, we also celebrate today the Filipino Mission Sunday, where we are all invited to remember in our prayers all our Filipino missionaries. And together with all our communal and personal intentions, let us offer it to the God and as well as those people who are asking us to pray for them. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing else, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that, with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to, as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the second book of Kings. A man came from Baal to Elisha, bringing to Elisha the man of God, twenty barley loaves made from the first fruits and fresh grain in the ear. Elisha said, Give it to the people to eat. But his servant objected, How can I set this before a hundred people? Elisha insisted, Give it to the people to eat. For thus says the Lord, They shall eat and there shall be left some left over. And when they had eaten, there was some left over, as the Lord had said. The word of the Lord. Yeah. 
of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the band of peace. One body, one spirit, as you are also called to, to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. Then when Jesus raised his eyes, and saw a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew 
what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people reclined? Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves, and that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again, again to the mountain alone. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, once again, good morning. Good morning. You know, we are now on the 17th Sunday in ordinary time no, in the liturgical calendar. Today is also a special day for us and for the Philippine Catholic Church. For today, we celebrate the Filipino Mission Sunday. It is a special day for us to remember our Filipino missionaries who are at the forefront in sharing the good news to all. Brothers and sisters, in our reflection today, let us ask first ourselves, what is that hunger that hinders me in sharing my life to others? In our first reading and in our gospel today, we have heard how that hunger were satiated by simple instruments. The 20 barley loaves in the first reading and the five loaves and the two fish in our gospel. So as part of our reflection, uh, reflection allow me to reflect with you three points. First point is be small and insignificant. The boy who has no name in our gospel today responded selflessly and innocently offers his five barley loaves and two fish. He did not complain nor doubt whether the bread will be enough for the people. Rather, he simply gives. You know, this can be a temptation for us sometimes. We tend to think that our contribution is too little or insignificant. We opt not to do something because in our mind, well, it's just a small thing that will not matter at all. That is our human thinking. Even in the gospel, Philip and Andrew somehow complained and undermined the value of what they have. Now, at that very moment, they only have um, two, uh, the five barley loaves and two fish. Now, in our own experience, we can attest that God can do great things out of small things. Let us learn from the man in our first reading too. Sometimes, as I've told you, we might think that we are just a nobody, insignificant, too small to be someone, but if we will just start doing simple, small acts of kindness or charity, this can make a difference. And I hope you're convinced with it. Brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to be small or to be insignificant in the eyes of other people. Because you are great and you can be great 
in the eyes of God. Now, you can be great if we will just allow God to use us for His purpose. No? Even how you may think insignificant you are, God can draw something great out of you. Now, let's go to our second point. The second point is, allow yourself to experience God's generosity. This is very important for us. Yeah? Now, normally, a person becomes generous or will learn generosity if somebody teaches him or her. Now, I'd like to, uh, as, as, as far as can, I can recall, when we were just kids, you know, when we have something to eat we're, or we have junk food or whatever, you know, what kind of food we have in our possession, and then we will eat it in front of many people, especially children, and then we'll just keep on eating without looking if there are somebody who, are, who, have, who has nothing. And then my mother used to scold us or me. Okay, Ranimo, magkaon ka on ka while others are looking at you. Nga murag mahulog ang mata. So, with that kind of um, upbringing also, no? we can learn something from other people how to become generous. God teaches us generosity through the help of others. And always remember that it is God who shows you first this word generosity. Now, in our first reading, the man from Baal Shalisha learned to give something through the words of the prophet Elisha. Though the man contested at first when he says, how can I set this before a hundred people? No? We will doubt something. Oh, will it be enough? Or, okay, ayun na nasa tagay, but anyway, it will not uh, suffice anyway. So that, will, that is our common, or maybe in our world today, that can be our first um, reaction. But then again, it is an invitation for us, especially by heeding to the words of the prophet Elisha when he says, give it to the people to eat, for thus says the Lord, they shall eat and there will be left over or some left over. I think we can also see that in our lives the moment we realize that we do not have everything but God provides us our needs. Example, at times we may experience financial crisis or crisis, depends. But to our surprise, we survived. It is because God is generous enough to us. Therefore, let us be thankful to God for His never-failing generosity instead of chasing something or those things whom we believe will satisfy our longings and hungers in life. Going back to the question that I asked you a while ago, what is that hunger that you are experiencing at this very moment? God is concerned with that hunger. The question is, will you allow him to help you to resolve this? Will you allow him? St. Paul reminds us by saying, live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. Brothers and sisters, here we can see that Jesus can feed us not only with material food, but uh, not only with material food because man or a person does not live by bread alone. But Jesus will sustain even the spiritual food that nourishes us. It can be attained by living in close union with God then we can say that we are nourished when we, no? We can say that we are nourished when we are able to see these things in ourselves, no? First, if they, uh, we learn to mutually support 
one another, no? mutually support one another, in and in sharing love in a manner of selfless gentleness and tolerant patience. Second, we learn to do our utmost to preserve a unity that comes through the spirit by the bond of peace that is coming from St. Paul. No? So I think it's also good to ask ourselves, Nitubo bagayot ka ako? Dear friends, remember, remember this, eh? dear friends, we are not a collection of individuals trying to please God to win a heavenly reward in the future. Rather, we form one body, one community, constantly experiencing God's generosity in the Eucharist, the only food that can nourish us spiritually. The third and the last point, be an instrument of God's generosity. No? This is also very important for us. If we will allow God no, to use us as his instrument of generosity. In the gospel, Jesus did not perform. Huh? Remember, Jesus in the gospel did not perform a trick or a magic or no, or even Jesus did not even create bread out of nothing. Rather, he uses what is available at that very particular moment. He makes use of what is available and these are the five loaves and the two fish in the possession of the boy. Now, interestingly, now this gospel passage, some would say the multiplication of the loaves. But if you're, we, we're going to read again now, the gospel, the word multiplication was not used. Now, what did Jesus do? He took bread, blessed them, and gave it in the, in the version of John. No? He, took the, uh, he took the bread and then looked up to heaven, blessed them, and gave it to his disciples. In the gospel, in the version of Matthew, no, in Matthew's gospel, it says, Jesus took the five loaves and two fish. He looked up to heaven, blessed, and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples. And in turn, the disciples gave them to the crowd. And I think it is a clear sign to us. God first provides, and then when we and then we are invited to be his partners in letting the people experience generosity. And so again, looking back into that gesture, Jesus took that bread, no, blessed it, and then broke it, gave it to his disciples, and in turn, the disciples gave it to the crowd. The gesture of Jesus giving the loaves to his disciples, and they in turn the, uh, gave the loaves to the people is a clear sign that whatever we receive from God is not meant for us only. Imagine the loaves and the two fish came from the boy, Jesus blessed them and broke them and gave it to his disciples, and the disciples distributed it to the people. What a beautiful image of becoming an instrument of God's goodness and generosity. So the question, no? another question. Will you allow yourself to become God's channel of generosity? Now, brothers and sisters, this hunger that our world is experiencing at the moment is not limited for bread alone. We know that. No? There might be that hunger for love, hunger for affection, hunger for freedom, hunger for justice, hunger for rights, and the list goes on. So, again, what is that hunger you are experiencing at the very moment? And as missionaries, we are all missionaries by virtue of our baptism. Now, what would you do in order to satiate this hunger that our world 
is experiencing at the moment. So brothers and sisters, let us make uh, use of what is available. Let us make ourselves available for the mission. And as today, as we celebrate the Filipino Mission Sunday, now let us, as I've told you, let us include in our prayers all our Filipino missionaries and all the missionaries no, around the world, especially those who are experiencing difficulties in their mission. And may, through our prayers, um, they will be encouraged once again, especially the members of the Mission Society of the Philippines. You know, um, just a short background. The Mission Society of the Philippines, or MSP, was founded in the year 1965 by the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. Because, you know, that time, they thought that for more than 400 years, the Philippines kept on accepting missionaries coming from different uh, parts of the world. So they thought, uh, it's time for the Philippine Catholic Church to send our own missionaries. So, the MSP no, was founded because of that purpose, no, to share the gift of faith that we have received no, from the first missionaries who came to the Philippines. But again, remember this, huh? it is not only us who are missionaries. All of us are missionaries. Will you allow yourselves to be his instruments? Brothers and sisters, be his instrument. Amen. Please all rise and let us confess our name all together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate Phil Mission Sunday and the World Day of Grandparents and Elderly, the liturgical readings invite us to share generously with others the blessings the Lord has granted us. Let us ask the good Lord to open our hearts to the needs of our neighbors as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. That the church and her leaders may always be attentive to the needs of the poor and take concrete action to improve their conditions. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Catholics who are rich or hold important positions may use their financial resources and influence to create an attitude of solidarity toward the less gifted and the poor. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Filipino missionaries, priests, nuns, religious brothers, and lay volunteers may be credible witnesses of the gospel 
in the areas where they exercise their apostolate. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Filipino Catholics may ever more contribute to the evangelization of the world through their prayers, good example, and active support of all missionaries. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all our grandparents and the elderly, both those who are still living and those who have gone to their rest, may the Lord reward them abundantly for the love they have lavished upon. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That many generous persons may be inspired to help and share with our brothers and sisters badly affected by the recent typhoon. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord Jesus, bless the work of our missionaries that they may see the fruit of their labor. Make us sensitive to the needs of our brothers and sisters and make us instruments of your provident love for them, you who live and reign forever and ever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, and through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Yes. 
Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, with Francis our Pope, Romulo our Bishop, and George his Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray to God, our Father, in the words our brother and Savior taught us. Thank you. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us, with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the sick, all together. Lord and Father, God without end and almighty, through your grace, you gave us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people, deliver them from their sicknesses, and restore them good health, so that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, before the final blessing, I'd like to thank all of you who are with us here in the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And uh, I'd like to extend also my heartfelt gratitude to the Pauline family who catered us as well as for the um, Film Mission Auxiliary Association, or the FMAA, for their uh, undying support for the mission. And to all of us here who are here with us, thank you so much. As we used to say, this um, MSP stands for Mission Society of the Philippines, or MSP. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And be your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth and announce the good news to all creation. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, may you all have a blessed Sunday. Thank you, Father. Special thanks to our Mass Presider, Father Jesse Navaja, Hilaga, MSP, Lectors, Gilmore Malonhau, Rodegunda Montilla, Minda Delgado, May Hipolito, Choir, Canticola Brace Choir, Carmelite Monastery, Dabao City, Organist, John Suplimento, Bread and Wine, Mr. and Mrs. Balanlay. <laughs>